everybody this is mxux i just want to do a quick recap on this uh baja race the san felipe 2001 san felipe 250 with the lmc endurance just want to go over this is the last of my video series on this race let's get right to the slides okay i just want to go over some things i said in my previous videos i was pretty eviscerated in the uh, comments but uh, i'm going to stick to my guns well i'm going to go grade myself here desert race i, I get, these are the these are the reasons i gave for the uh, uh, endurance not having the range uh, everybody thought it should and for it finishing the race uh, not finishing the race and by the way many 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 vehicles did not finish the race it was not an unusual occurrence all right first thing i said desert racing tires hub tire size lowered the range of the vehicle i was close on this it's a known fact with evs i was corrected in the comments i didn't get the tire size right it was 37 not 40. i didn't do the calculation quite right i'm going to give myself a pass on this it definitely was an issue it definitely made a difference it does make a difference anybody that doesn't agree with me i think you're wrong okay Second thing I said was they staged for five hours in 88 degree temperatures and the battery automatic battery, battery cooling system was on draining range from the EV battery, battery because they were staging. Well, I was wrong on the five hours. It was an hour and a half. Uh, they started, got it written down here. They started at uh, 9.30 and they went off on the track about 11. So it was an hour and a half stage. Now I just wanted, I want to give myself a D on this. They could have been in line for more than one and a half hours. They might, you know, just because they said they started at nine, you know, they could have lined up early. Okay. This, this happens. And, you know, this still could have been an issue. Maybe not what I said. I'd love to hear from somebody who was there who could tell me just how long they were in line. Because I do think this is an issue. And I'm going to give myself a D on this because I said the time wrong. Uh, I had a start time quoted by somebody of 2.15. I was wrong. Uh, the third thing I said that everybody disagreed with uh, is that this was a trophy truck with a street uh, pickup truck gas tank in it. Trophy truck has a 102-gallon tank. The uh, Endurance had the equivalent of a 20-gallon tank. Okay. Uh, and this depends on semantics. A lot of people busted my chops and said, no, it's not a trophy truck. Well, you know what? It's a Bethel Brothers build. It's 600 horsepower, all-wheel drive, you know, custom drivetrain. You say tomato, I say tomato. Sorry. Also, on the gas equivalency, I think I was basically correct conceptually on that. I was just trying to point out that with the stock battery, there's no way these uh, the Endurance C414 is going to run head to head with the trophy truck. It's going to have a limited range, and that was the point I was making. I give myself a pass on that. So would I get all over uh, overall pass pass D? So what's that a C? I'm going to give myself a B minus. Okay. Now here's what the CEO said. And I gathered this from a couple different sources. This is just an overall summary. Uh, the truck used more energy than planned. The terrain was rough. I think that's the quote. It used, they, they planned, their race plan was for three times normal energy use. So whatever that was required to run that with regular, it would be three times as much uh, charge required. The actual usage was four times. Okay. It was 25% more uh there were some people on reddit and so forth that had that had also calculated a three times normal energy use uh this was not out of line uh, a lot of people really said they were way out of line on this look i want to make a point and i said this in my comments hey look at the races how many, how many times have you seen a race where a car ran out of gas on the last lap going to the finish line things happen in racing you know, you do your best, and the unexpected gets you. The black swan gets you. So anyway, 
they they started late in the pack. All the ATVs and the, the trophy trucks and everything else, uh, the spec trucks all ran ahead of them, and the track was soft when they hit it, okay? Uh, it was like walking through beach sand. It wasn't packed down at all. The tires didn't roll on top of it. They plowed through it. Many, many other uh, teams, ICE teams, had issues with mileage as well. Okay, so this was a common uh, problem in this year's race. Um, now, here's the uh, by way of explanation. Now, they had brought some uh, generator-powered fast charge trucks. They're like big trucks that, uh, you know, two-ton trucks or whatever with the boxes on the back that had generators in them to charge the endurance. The next leg of the race after the one they completed was through the mountains, through mountain pass, and so forth. So I don't know if it was the Manitoba wash or whatever, whatever that uh, particular wash is. But anyway, these trucks couldn't get anywhere near it, evidently. They didn't have the capability or the roads or the access roads, or they weren't able to handle that terrain. Whatever the case may be, they could not have made it back up up there to charge it, uh, the truck to make sure it could go through these. They did not. So as a result, they could only charge it on the flatlands. They didn't want to tro- uh, block the uh, mountain pass, but it caused a riot. So they pulled out of the race. Makes sense to me. Uh, they charged and they ran 10 more miles to chest uh, the truck components. And let's just say all the factory components worked perfectly on this truck. They said they couldn't build a battery. They did. They said the battery would catch on fire. It didn't. They said the hub motors working would work. They did. The frame was perfect. All the control systems for the traction control and everything worked. Everything held up. All the wiring harness held up everything. So I uh, I just want to remind everybody, a lot of trucks didn't finish this race. And a lot of uh, racers miscalculated the uh, horse conditions as well. So. That's that. Let me play this. Uh, uh, and by the way, everybody on the comments, yes, I am an idiot sometimes. Whatever. All right. Let me play the video. And let me see if I could do this without screwing up. This is the original, the, uh, the formal response from Steve Burns. At Lordstown Motors, we are creating an electric full-size pickup truck. Badass trucks. And even though pickup trucks are the three top best-selling vehicles in America, there isn't an electric pickup truck available on the market yet. As we've been creating the endurance, we've come to realize that the reason for that is probably because pickup trucks are expected to be extremely versatile machines, capable of hauling, towing, and off-roading. To achieve that sort of functionality, we had to invent an electric drivetrain like no other before it. We've been testing our endurance, and we thought a trip to Baja would be the most extreme off-roading we could find. So we made history by entering the San Felipe 250 race on April 17, 2021. The grueling terrain, the heat, the deep, fine sand, the G-forces really tested our hubs, our battery pack, and our frame, all of which worked great. We didn't finish the race because the desert terrain really uses a lot of energy, more than we had anticipated. And so the fast chargers we had brought, we couldn't get one up in the mountain range. So we decided best not to take that leg and possibly block the trail for somebody else. So we charged and then we went out uh, and continued to test after we dropped out of the race. All that testing before the race, during the race, after the race, all that data makes its way into every endurance. And later this year, when we come out with any endurance, you can bet there'll be a little bit of Baja in every endurance. Thank you. I'm Steve Burns, CEO and founder of Lordstown Motors. Okay. Everybody's looking for transparency. There it is. Guys, I I, I thought the race was exciting. You never know what's going to happen in racing. That's what's so cool about it. So anyway, that's my final response, uh, final video on this race, I believe. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I hope you took checked out my other videos. All right, let's get to the creepy music here. All right, guys, I think that was a good showing, really. And 
you know, Lordstown is on track to have this truck out in September. Uh, the employees at the plant are saying they're all on schedule to do it. They're rolling out the betas. Looks like it's going to be the first EV pickup truck uh, in production in America or the world. I think it's going to beat the Cybertruck and I think it's going to beat the Rivian. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video.